Greetings everyone at Church of Our Savior and to anyone else who might be watching this video. This is Father Trent on this gorgeous day bringing us together for another time of prayer from our Book of Common Prayer, which will begin on page 814. May the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. O Heavenly Father, who has filled the world with beauty, open our eyes to behold thy gracious hand in all thy works, that rejoicing in thy whole creation, we may learn to serve thee with gladness for the sake of him through whom all things were made, thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For all sorts and conditions of men and women. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men and women, that thou wouldest be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially, we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians, Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace, and in the righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate, especially those for whom our prayers are desired, those on our parish prayer list, Sarah Bailey, Jamie Barassa, Joe Branch, Dottie Boudreau, Vicki Crocker, Susan Ford, Diane Gates, Christina Golden, Jennifer Hartley, Marion Hickox, Joy Court, Tony Lane, Phyllis McDonald, Joe Menace, Judy Morrow, Nancy Olin, Bill and Terry Richardson, Rex Rowe, Lorraine Smith, Louise Fuse, Nell Walker, Terry Woodward, Bonnie Wright, the Golden and Davis families, Norman, Bentley, Holden, Ronnie, Tony, Jonathan, Tammy, Elise, Marion, Misha, Nancy, Amy, Ray, Jan, Jennifer, Christina, Nushin, Griffin, Emily, Doug, Viola, Howard, June, Scott, Patricia, Ray, Beverly, and Robert. And Lord, Lord, there are several people we pray for that are near and dear to our hearts. We lift them up by name as well. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. This we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. For the human family. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For peace. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but for the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of, of the Prince of Peace, as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. Amen. For the church. Gracious Father, we pray for thy holy Catholic Church. Fill it with all truth, and in all truth, with all peace. Where it is corrupt, purify it. Where it is in error, direct it. Where it is anything, it is amiss, reform it. Where it is right, strengthen it. And where it is in want, provide for it. Where it is divided, reunite it. For the sake of Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Savior. Amen. For the mission of the church. Everlasting God, whose will it is that all should come to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, inspire our witness to him that all may know the power of his forgiveness and the hope of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
for clergy and people. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops, our other clergy, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. For our diocese, O God, by your grace, you have called us in this diocese to a goodly fellowship of faith. Bless our bishops, John, Charles, and the recently retired Dorsey, and our other clergy and all other people. Grant that your word may be truly preached and truly heard, your sacraments faithfully administered and faithfully received, and by your spirit fashion our lives according to the example of your Son. Grant that we may show the power of your love to all among whom we live. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For our church, a mighty and everlasting God, ruler of all things in heaven and on earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In times of conflict, O God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for injustice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the unemployed, Heavenly Father, we remember before you those who suffer, want and anxiety from lack of work. Guide the people of this land so to use our public and private wealth that all may find suitable and fulfilling employment and receive just payment for their labor. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For schools and colleges, especially for the seniors that will be graduating here in due time, that very soon we will be celebrating in different ways. We pray for all of them as they prepare for that. We also lift up Ashley Hatzel for her graduation from Florida State University. And it is also Teacher Appreciation Week. As one who has become a teacher of my young children through this pandemic time, teachers, I cannot thank you enough. And we pray for you on this day. So eternal God, bless all schools, colleges, and universities, and teachers, professors, administrators, that they may be lively centers for sound learning, new discovery in the pursuit of wisdom, and grant that those who teach and those who learn may find you to be the source of all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the future of the human race, O God, our Heavenly Father, you have blessed us and given us dominion over all the earth. Increase our reverence before the mystery of life and give us new insight into your purposes for the human race and new wisdom and determination in making provision for its future in accordance with your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Poor families. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who set us the solitary in families, we commend to thy continual care the homes in which thy people dwell. Put far from them, we beseech thee, every root of bitterness, the desire of vainglory, and the pride of life. Fill them with faith, virtue, knowledge, and temperance, patience, and godliness. That together in constant affection, those who in holy wedlock have been made one flesh, turn the hearts of the parents to the children and the hearts of the children to the parents. So enkindle fervent charity among us all, that we may evermore be kindly affectioned one to another through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For those who live alone, Almighty God, whose son had nowhere to lay his head, grant that those who live alone may not be lonely in their solitude but that following in his steps they may find fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For the aged, look with mercy, O God, our Father, on all whose increasing years bring them weakness, distress, or isolation. Provide for them homes of dignity and peace. Give them understanding helpers and the willingness to accept help. And as their strength diminishes, increase their faith and their assurance of your love. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For those we love, Almighty God, we entrust all who are dear to us 
to thy never failing care and love for this life and in the life to come, knowing that thou art doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For a person in trouble or bereavement. O merciful Father, who has taught us in thy holy word that thou dost not willingly afflict or grieve the children of men, look with pity upon the sorrows of thy servants for whom our prayers are offered. Remember them, O Lord, in mercy. Nourish their souls with patience. Comfort them with a sense of your goodness. Lift up thy countenance upon them and give them peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For guidance. Direct us, O Lord, in all our doings with thy most gracious favor. And further us with thy continual help that in all our works begun, continued, and ended in thee, we may glorify thy holy name and finally, by thy mercy, obtain the everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For protection. Assist us mercifully, O Lord, in these our supplications and prayers, and dispose the way of thy servants towards the attainment of everlasting salvation, that among all the changes and chances of this mortal life, they may ever be defended by thy gracious and ready help. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And finally, a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. And where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, and to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, and it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I hope this time and series of prayers have been a blessing to you. You can always come to that section of the Book of Common Prayer anytime you want to pray, beginning on page 8 10. There are several more that we could choose to pray from. And I'll close with a blessing. May the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. See you soon.